All right, guys, today we're talking about a knife that is a heresy for me. Now, what do I mean by this? I largely mean this because I speak against Benchmade and their knives quite a bit in the brand as a whole. And a lot of those sentiments I still feel are very true because I think that Benchmade honestly offers a product that is pretty overpriced. And like I've said in the past before, many people mention it, the butterfly tax. It's not something that I'm the only one that talks about, but it's definitely there. However, all of that being said, I still really do like the Benchmade 273 Mini Adamus. However, on top of that, this knife does let me down in a few ways. And honestly, this is one of the saddest knives in my collection because it's one of those knives that I genuinely love the design. I'm really a big fan of Shane Seibert's um, designs as a whole. I really do like a lot of them. And I love the 275 slash 2750. I do have an Auto Adamus. I had the original D2 Adamus, um, and obviously I have the Mini Adamus here, uh, but ultimately there are some really unfortunate uh, just manufacturing issues with this knife that make it a blade that I do EDC, but I know is definitely not the strongest blade out there. And because of my hard use testing in the hopes to make a knife that was similar to my original D2 Adamus, this one has a bit of uh, lock rock to it. It's kind of hard to see in the video, but as you guys can probably see there, it does have a little bit of lock rock and you can definitely hear it. So unfortunately, this knife is some, a blade that, like I said, I really want to love, but it's just not built high enough quality. So first off, let's talk about why I love it. So the first and biggest reason, as I kind of alluded to earlier, I have and have had the whole Adamus family, the 275, the 273, the 2750. I actually have to correct myself. I have not had a 375, which is the fixed blade Adamus, but um, I don't know if I'll add one of those because I do really like it, but it's just not quite um, applicable for me. But ultimately I have had outside of the 375, the fixed blade version of this, I've had all of the Adamus size, so to speak. Um, but uh, yeah, so the biggest reason why I have had so many of them is I think this design is super utilitarian. I think it looks good. It's definitely like built like a military folder. But at the same time too, the 273 is probably my favorite of all of them because it's the most pocket friendly and it still feels like a folding tank. Um, now, unfortunately, like I said, I've tested this and its durability is just not there. Um, whatever they've done to this access lock, they have made it uh, less strong than the older or previous versions of the Adamus. So that is definitely unfortunate, but at the same time, I really like the aesthetics of it. I like the looks, it's built and it feels really good in hand in any grip you hold it. And most of all, it's a very, very usable blade. Also too, it is in CPM crew wear, which I feel is a blade steel that doesn't really get a lot of talking about and is honestly a really cool um, blade steel. I think crew wear is super slept on, but I will say a lot of modern blade steels are honestly pretty darn good too. But anyways, so yeah, the first thing that really gets me for this is its design. The second part is its carryability. Like I said, the Mini Adamus is very comparable to many of my other more pocket-friendly blades. Um, you know, it's very comparable in size to the Minicom or Mini Commander, very close to the three-inch size, uh, or I should say the size of the three-inch um, Hinder XM18, which is one of my favorite smaller carry blades. So overall, it has a very pocket-friendly profile to it. Um, yeah, and like I said, lastly is CPM Crew Wear Blade. That blade steel is pretty darn solid for this, and I think honestly was a really good choice for updating the Adamus as a whole. Now, the biggest issues that I have with this blade. So the first one, of course, like I said, and the biggest one that I really do wish that this lockup was better. And honestly, when I initially got this blade, I was super excited because I was hoping that it would be similar in durability and strength to my original D2 275 Adamus. And I was hoping to have a mini folding tank because I originally kind of dubbed unofficially the Adamus, the 275, a you know, folding tank. And I was hoping to have a mini folding tank, something along the size of my, um, Hinder XM18, but 
super tank, super tanky, super durable. And I was originally hoping to have a really nice wilderness pocket folder that uh, would be, like I said, super pocket friendly and could kind of whip it out to complement a fixed blade. However, that is not the case. Like I said, I have batoned this one many times and it now has a bit of lock rock. And while the lock rock isn't severe enough to make the blade fail like uh, consistently if you do you know hit this on the spine hard enough it will definitely fail almost every time now once again i attribute that largely to weaker omega springs than the older generations of axis lock and so i think that uh, creates the lock failure but either way it has gone to the point where the interface surface here has taken damage um, and it's not super easy in this lighting, but the lock interface has taken enough damage. It's not super easy to see, but that it does create lock rock. So anyways, that is really unfortunate for me because I do really love this blade. And honestly, I wanted to like it a lot more. And I was kind of hoping when the mini Adamus slash the refreshed Adamus came out that it would kind of be a... I don't know if you'd say rebirth, but I largely think that the original Adamus was released in like the golden age of Benchmade. So I was hoping this would be kind of like a rebirth to Benchmade being a really solid, really quality driven company. And I didn't mind paying the extra price because this was in CPM Crewwear and at the time Crewwear, and I still think Crewwear is pretty darn good. It, it holds its own for sure for being a super stain resistant uh, kind of tool steel uh, or just harder wearing steel as a whole, but unfortunately that was not the case. So that is kind of the unfortunate part. Now, like I said, I still like this knife enough and it doesn't, you know, sheerly out and out fail. So it's not a knife that I'm going to like discard, but it does see more limited use and it definitely is not carried as much as I used to carry it, but it still does see some pocket time because it is still a really cool design. And personally too, and I think this is kind of indicative of the EDC community as a whole, but the FDE slash green or olive drab colorway is really i think a really complimentary color and i think it looks good it's kind of like multi-cam but for a knife and not having a specific camo pattern but it has the colors of multi-cam kind of just blended into it so i like it in a lot of ways but i just wish it was a better knife so anyways guys and that is why this knife is heresy i really wanted to love it i really wanted to like it it just wasn't what i needed so Anyways, guys, as always, God bless, and I'm out.